to uh, the forecast. We want to turn to meteorologist Robert Sir. He is tracking this for us. Obviously, it's an important forecast. We're all trying to get ready for the work week, Robert. Yeah. And uh, I think we're going to get off to a, a soggy start. Uh, on Tuesday, we will. Okay. Monday isn't looking too bad, but it'll be gray and kind of dank out there. Uh, but yeah, Tuesday's the day we're really honing in on. So that's what we're going to start with here. Uh, not to get lost in all of the rain talk is the fact that we are still going to be dealing with well, well below average temperatures uh, through at least midweek or so. We'll be 20 to 30 degrees below average. There's a look at that flooding rain possibility for your Tuesday. And then once we get toward Thursday and the end of the week, the sunshine and the seasonal temperatures actually start to return. Taking a live look outside there uh, right now, not too bad, nice and quiet on this Sunday evening across northwest Arkansas as well as the River Valley. Just about everybody in the 50s with the exception of Fort Smith. There's a look at Northwest Arkansas already down to 54 in Winslow, 53 in Gravit, Garfield, as well as our friends in Eureka Springs. Good evening to Fort Smith and Van Buren, 61 and 58 respectively. I'm trying to see the coolest spot uh, in the River Valley. A uh, couple locations, uh, Mountainburg, excuse me, they're at 56. Uh, at this hour. So as we go through the rest of the night, we will see a little bit of clearing. You saw that earlier in the show. It won't last though, unfortunately. Cloud cover comes back by tomorrow morning. And then we're watching the chances for some stray showers Monday afternoon. Not everybody will see them very hit or miss, very light. It's once we get toward Monday night and into Tuesday, that is when we're going to watch a lot of the steadier and heavier rain press in here. We're not too worried about severe weather or even thunderstorms. Just steady, heavy rain. There could be a couple of uh, rumbles of thunder mixed in there, but just some heavy rain that could accumulate a lot. The Weather Prediction Center is saying up to two to three inches across the region could accumulate by the time we get toward Wednesday morning, which is why we're concerned about excessive rainfall. Uh, the entire area under a slight risk for excessive rainfall on Tuesday. 40s and 50s tonight will rebound to 60s and lower 70s tomorrow. I, I think 70s in the River Valley are optimistic. We'll see how much cloud cover and sunshine we can get in the River Valley, but I doubt it. it'll be a struggle to get there. Uh, there's Tuesday, impact day Tuesday, Wednesday, with the very heavy rainfall looking likely on Tuesday. Leftover sprinkles Wednesday, and then the sunshine returns with temperatures back to where they should be by the time we get to the Memorial Day weekend. The unofficial start of summer. My goodness gracious, Paige, bust out the grill. <laughs> summer unofficially starts next Monday. Okay. I love it. Robert, thank you.